Hi, this is Advocate Lucinda, your empowerment lawyer. Listen, I want to talk about the motion to dismiss, but the 12B6 defense that the defendants use to get the plaintiff's complaint dismissed. Failure to state a claim. The key to beating the 12B6 is showing plausibility. And that's what we're going to focus on today. Showing plausibility to beat the 12B6 motion, failure to state a claim. Plausibility is key. So let's get started. So with the 12B6 motion to dismiss, the defendant is contending that the plaintiff has failed to state a claim upon which relief can be granted. In other words, the defendant contends the complaint failed to properly allege one or more of the required elements of an action. Now, remember, every lawsuit has a cause of action. And for every cause of action, there is an element or there are elements that the plaintiff must set forth. So when you are writing your complaint, you want to think prima facie elements. So to demonstrate this presentation, let's use retaliation. It's a cause of action and it has elements that the plaintiff must present. The plaintiff must show that he or she engaged in protected activity. Secondly, the plaintiff must show that the employer took adverse action And the plaintiff must show a causal link between the protected activity and adverse action. These are the elements. Think elements. So plausibility is defined as being probable, reasonable, or giving the appearance of truth. Think about that. And let's connect it to the elements. To survive a motion to dismiss, a complaint must contain sufficient factual matter accepted as true to state a claim to relief that is plausible, reasonable, has the appearance of truth on its face. Thus, as the plaintiff writes the facts, he or she wants to write them with the elements in mind. Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Follow the elements and write the facts with clarity. I hope this has been helpful to you. Until next time, be M.